Hey, good morning. Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Poke Zoo Channel and the Guitar Letter System. Hey, I'm still kind of getting to know this uh, this rare, very rare prototype aria, Larry Coriel. It's a really interesting guitar. This guitar is kind of a cross between an arch top and, and an acoustic like dreadnought, but it's got the arch carved top. It's very carved and that, that's the way they carved it. They must have started with a big piece of wood. It's got some beautiful sulking patterns, the little lines that go across the green this way. It's got, you know, carved flame maple back. Very rare guitar. Larry Coriel was one of the best players ever. Unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago, which actually adds value to the guitar. I don't mean to sound commercial about that. I mean, I have a deep respect for Larry Coriel. He played with, uh, played with John McLaughlin and Paco de Lucia, the great flamenco player. I'm really into flamenco guitar. He played with Al Di Miola, he, and he, many consider Larry Coriel to be the father of fusion. He was a great, great player, just a, a beautiful person, too. This is a really rare guitar. This is, this is not the normal one. Pickup has a really now I'm playing in dad guy because it just sounds beautiful. You might hear a fan in the background, but that's, I can't do anything about that right now. But the pickup has tremendous clarity and warmth. This is a really interesting guitar. And yeah, that carved, that solid carved top is just amazing to look at, you know? Really an interesting guitar. Trying to kind of get to know the pickup system. I'm trying to. So I'm not trying to impress anybody here. I'm just trying to show different sounds on this guitar. Really an interesting sounding guitar. I'm, I'm still getting to know the, how to mess with the tone controls. Now here, here's, here's the bass and the treble up all the way. And then if I turn them down, turn the volume down a little bit, and then a little bit down on the treble in the bass, I get this. Not so much a playing demo here, I'm just trying to show the sounds. Because the pickup is really an interesting sound. Got some really interesting mid and, and, and treble. Very interesting guitar. I kind of like it. I notice when I turn the volume down a little bit, I kind of like what. Some, I read somewhere online that somebody had 
uh, one of these. They only made, I think, two or three of them like this. And that reminded them of an L5, old Gibson L5. And some of the old Gibson arch tops used uh, the oval hole, like the Howard Roberts, Gibson Howard Roberts. Some of the uh, even old L5s had the oval hole. Purposely putting, having a lot of space in this demo so you can kind of hear this. Now let's turn the volume all the way down for a second. Sometimes it's nice just to have a little bit of volume like this. Then you can hear the amp, the amp and the guitar. Okay, this is an interesting guitar. Yeah, it's interesting. Just different, even different levels of volume seem to bring out a. I like that chord. Somebody's gonna hear this and just say, "Yeah, man, I want that guitar." It's a pretty interesting guitar. Not so much a playing demo here as just trying to demo the, some of the different sounds of this guitar because it's really got a lot of different sounds depending on how you set it up. Kind of like I said, like a cross between a, between a great arch top, old maybe 50s, 40s arch top, and a great acoustic guitar. It's really got an interesting tone to it. Yeah, this is a really interesting guitar. It's got just a beautiful, beautiful tone. Very rare. Only two or three prototypes like this were made with the uh, you know headstock like this, the Larry Coryell. And it's got a really nice action, really easy to play. Nice, low, cozy action. Not too low. Said, the more I mess with this with the tone in the uh, it's got like a bass and a treble thing <laughs> really got an inter yeah, it's an interesting tone and the bass down real low, you get kind of this. And like I said, it's I kind of like having the volume low. Get the, the, uh, the amp and the, 
guitar. I've never heard a guitar that sounds like this, so there's something very, very unique about this guitar. It's got a really interesting quality to it. I'm looking at the top. Looks like it has a couple reinforcement pieces on each side too of the of the wood. So it looks it looks like a solid top, but it does have a couple. Re, well, I, I see this often on guitars, a couple like reinforcement layers on each side, very thick metal, and then a couple reinforcement layers. So, but yeah, this this top is is pretty pretty damn interesting. Interested, email me stevezook7 at yahoo.com that's the number seven not spelled out or text me 714-548-0385 <laughs> guitar. Larry Coriel, Elector. I've never heard a guitar that has this kind of sound before. It's very unique. <laughs> Text 714-548-0385. Take care, everybody. Let's all keep the positive faith. Take care.